everyone, Evie here. This is just a makeup tutorial for a Taylor Monson look. I'll leave a link to the picture that I was going off in the description box. It's a very dark, grunge look, but I think it's quite classy. If you like it, keep watching, and I'll show you how to do this look. Okay, first I'm gonna start out putting concealer all over my blemishes. Next I'm going to check on some foundation. I'm using Le Revlon Colorstay. Using a stippling brush. Dab this on. Start buffing it in. Next we want to set that with powder. I'm just using Revlon Colorstay Aqua. Buff that all over. Next is eyebrows. I'm just using this NYX eyebrow cake powder fill them in to get a much nicer shape you can just use eyeshadow to fill them in if you want or even get an eyebrow pencil or I just use black eyeliner sometimes it's cheap and easy okay now that your eyebrows are done you want to prime your eyelids because we're going to be packing on a lot of eyeshadow you want it to have something to stick to I'm just using NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil put this all over my eyelid like a reverse panda right now then we're just going to blend it in using our fingertips now that that's blended in I'm going to take a grey colour apply that all over both of my lids as a base just want to apply it quite high all over your lid up towards your brow and start to fade it off as you get higher out now you want a solid black color and I'm gonna take a pencil brush because I'm gonna start building this color into the crease so it's gonna look very intense panda eyes I want a blending brush make sure it has no product on it because you just want to use this to blend the black out into the grey that Blend that out as much as possible but if you feel like it's not combining very nicely take a little bit more of your grey and just work that over where the two colours meet and it should blend together I'm such a panda right now Take a black eyeliner, draw a thick line on your bottom lid, use a smudging tool, and I'm going to smudge this out. You're going to take a little bit more of your black eyeshadow and put that on top of your eyeliner, leaning it back into your eyeshadow up here. Looks like I've been punched in the face in both eyes. She actually has a little bit of shimmer on her eyelids, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of a, it's quite a dark colour, but it's got a little bit of shimmer on it, and I'm just gonna put that right in the centre of my eyelids. Dab that on there. Now I'm gonna take this light colour here just to highlight my brow bone underneath my eyebrow. This helps add dimension to your eyes. Next I'm going to take some liquid eyeliner and I'm going to create big wings over my top lash line. Now I'm just going to tight line the bottom of my eyes. Now I want to curl my eyelashes and I'm going to use my Maybelline Definer Lash Put some mascara on your bottom lashes too Now I'm going to be applying my Ardell Lashes I'm just going to do a little bit of a highlight on my cheeks Just taking a light shimmery colour 
and put that on the top of your cheekbone. And now I'm just going to contour my cheekbones using NYX Matte Bronzer. Just take a little bit of it on your brush. Squeeze, make a fish face. And then blend it out. As a general rule for contouring your cheeks, you don't want to go past about halfway through your eyes or it'll start to look a bit weird. Last of all, lipstick. Just got a very dark lipstick on, so I'm just going to use the darkest that I have. First you want to line your lips using a lip pencil. Okay now. Okay now, slap your lipstick over top. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe. Catch you later!